Why, aloha! It's Eric and Julie with 365 Hawaii, and today we're not in Hawaii. Nope, we're <laughs> in the Valley of Fire. And so... Uh, but if you don't know what that is... Well, okay, give them a little more explanation. The Nevada desert, about an hour outside of Las Vegas. Yes, we're here for a conference, a real estate conference. So we are out, and so we took off for a few hours to do something really cool. We literally have about 15 minutes before that sun is gone. Yep. So uh, we thought we'd take you guys along and show you. Today, my thought is that beauty is kind of where you see it. I mean, every talks about Hawaii being the most beautiful place, but there's a lot of other places around here that also fit that bill. Yeah, look at behind us, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and uh, it goes on. I mean, it is so beautiful and clear here. And uh, Eric and I are talking about a lot of you guys who follow our channel are fellow adventure nuts. And uh, the journey is the adventure, right? Sometimes not only getting to the end, but taking the steps along the way to find it, right? Yeah, and if you're, example, if you know, getting to Hawaii is always kind of a big deal, you know what I mean, in terms of time, effort, and money. But there's a lot of times you guys can just literally just get out and just go do it. Our, our thing is, you know, it, it's, it's the little things. And if you do little things every so often, it definitely adds up and you feel very fulfilled. At least that's what I say. Sometimes even tired would be another way to describe <laughs> it. Yeah, but this is, uh, I, my, my daughter told us about this about two and a half, three weeks ago. And then all of a sudden I started doing some Google search. I'm like, oh, I got to go there. And so to be sitting here and having this behind us, it's awesome. And uh, that's called intention, right? Intention. Right. So, so we make it. So we're going to try to go around. We're, uh, we've got a few more. We've got about a week here in California and, and uh, Nevada. Uh, and so we might show you a few other places just to give you a, a sampling of, of, of of beauty through the eyes of the adventure. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And uh, the joke is, is that they, they call Vegas the ninth island. You know what I mean? That's the, the so maybe we can show you a cool few spots in, uh, in Vegas while we're there talking, doing that. Sun just set behind the mountains and just like in Hawaii, when the sun sets behind the ocean, it kind of feels like the day's over and you've lost kind of the luster of the beauty. But sometimes if you hang on, beautiful things happen. Good morning. Hey, we are here in Lake Tahoe. And as you can see behind us, um, with the stand of quaking aspen that uh, it's fall. Yay! It's, it's the end of fall. It's already had a big fat snowstorm and some weather and things like that. But it's just, we just got here. You had to look for the proper pond, for the proper aspen trees. And we finally found a stand that still had some leaves on them. Yeah. So uh, there's snow in the mountains around us and we'll show you guys. Uh, but uh, we wanted to uh, just let you guys know that one of the reasons we're sitting here is because when you live in Hawaii for years and years, sometimes you just have to get off the rock and go find some seasons, right? Not that it's island fever. Well, maybe a little bit, but, but not in a bad way. Um, as you know that Hawaii it definitely is a it has its climates and it, it changes from winter to summer of course uh, it's just a smaller swing than it would be on the mainland so if you like you know every so often have an extreme swing such as snow I and mean, you get them in Mauna Kea but the snow as in regular and and also having these you know crazy you know they, they, it rains differently here it, it comes in with a storm and the wind blows hard so these are all things that if uh, you're well and it blows hard in Hawaii too it's just just it's just different so it's nice to come off and you know get a get a, a dose of uh, the seasons yeah, and uh, a lot of people on my 365 will sometimes say when we're posting photos of us rollicking around on the beach in January, oh, we're freezing our asses off. And then why would you go and try and get something cold in your life when you could be sitting in an 85 degree day right now instead? And uh, I'm the, telling you. Yeah, but the answer like is if you've warm. had 85 degrees for, you know, 300, well, especially with the pandemic, it's gone on for a very long time that we've had a beautiful 85 for a long time. So it's nice to get a little bit chilly. Yeah, we haven't been up here in two years. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so let's just, we just want to you know, give you guys a reason why we're kind of doing this so that, you know, if you uh, are watching us living on the island or thinking about moving, uh, sometimes, yes, it is true that you want to go and experience the colors of fall. Dreaming of you. Sitting at the top of the falls, Eric's droning, 
we are alone up here. It's so awesome. One of the things that we love uh, about Hawaii and here in Tahoe is, is uh, there's an energy, and you guys all know this, that you know Hawaii has a specific energy that once you go there, you're like, whoa, and you, you know people cry when they go home and all those kinds of things. So it just makes you feel good when you're there. And it's not just Hawaii that has these different places. It's throughout, of course, you know, the mainland and things like this. And for us, Tahoe is one of those. It feels close to nature and you feel, I guess, kind of cleaner, right? And some of the thoughts is that, you know, the higher up you go in the mountains, the, the, the less lower heavy frequencies you feel there. So here in this meadow, we're at about seven or eight thousand feet right now and uh, it's we're far far away from everybody and it uh, it feels pretty good and this is what we we moved here for a year with this idea of you know this was another place that we could be be part of this nature and energies with um, but I will say this I do like the energies in Hawaii better <laughs> So, do you have anything to add to that, Julie? <laughs> uh, well, uh, when you said there's other places around the world that also have, like, you know, this uh, deep spiritual energy. Yeah. I'm thinking that a lot of people that we've met in Kona have been all over the world, and they keep saying Kona is the best in yeah. terms of having that energy because of the, uh, you know, the way that, I guess we'd like to say that the island rumbles, right? Well, yeah. yeah. So, I uh, mean, and it, but it's not only Kona. I mean, it's all, it's all of, it's all of the big island. I mean, you know. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, all of the big island. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But like even Sedona doesn't, you know, feel as good as let's say the big island. That's right? true. And, and Sedona is quite a place and there is quite a lot of energy there as yeah. well. So, it's so, a, so what do you guys place. think? Do you have, who's you guys, your special places that you go to that make you feel good? Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comments. I, when I, I ask these questions about being called to the island, um, when people start sharing their stories with one another, um, it's kind of cool because then people say, oh, I'm not the only one. So uh, there's a reason why when people land on that island and say, I feel like I'm home, and they, they cry when they leave. And That's they try it. and figure out a way mm -hmm. to get back. So, but you know, we tried that here in uh, Tahoe. We lasted exactly one year. Because, uh, and the, the funny part of that, because at the end of the day, it's too cold. <laughs> yeah, it's, this, you know, this, this, being, this romantic. Being in pain is no fun. And I know a lot of my people who are in Minnesota yeah. and on the upper parts of the United States, and they're in their minus 20 in the wintertime. Cold and pain together are a reason why we live in Hawaii, too. <laughs> One of the things about getting good footage is waking up at the crack of dawn. But good thing here in California, the crack of dawn happens to be about 7.30, so it's a little bit different. So we got out here. It was beautiful out here. It's a brisk 32 degrees, and uh, we're here at this waterfall, uh, Eagle Falls, overlooking Emerald Bay. Hey, so one of the reasons that we also wanted to come to South Lake Tahoe uh, this time is also because they just had that forest fire. Yeah. And uh, the, cal the Calder fire. And being here, and as you can see from the drone, photos the valley floor was saved from the uh, the burn and we're looking out over heavenly right now and you can see the burn over on that side and it made its way east so um missing you know. the valley altogether so yeah that was, so it was, it was a nice a nice little benefit yeah yeah it's beautiful so uh and we were kind of joking saying that uh, uh having the fire miss the uh, lake tahoe basin was like making sure that uh Kilauea stays uh, cooking inside the uh, hale mau mau crater instead of out you know wreaking havoc in the east rift zone <laughs> Yes, or, or the, either the west side of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so the other thing we wanted to talk about today is, you know, being on the mainland, you sort of forget that when being in Hawaii that things are a certain way, and then you come here and it's quite different. And then you kind of miss some of the things that are done in Hawaii a certain way. And I'd say for me, the first one is, is definitely there's a, an aloha in Hawaii that is definitely not in California. And, um, you know, we, you know, just... Uh, People in Hawaii tend to reach out of their way to be nice to you, and here is they kind of reach out of their way to make sure that they get ahead, which is not quite as, just doesn't quite have that aloha spirit. But that's one of the things I really like about Hawaii. Julie, what do you think? What's that, you like Hawaii about Hawaii. Okay, women. It is dry. Dry, dry, dry here. Uh, I think that my face has aged markedly since I've left Hawaii. One thing about if you hang out in Hawaii, all that nice uh, humidity and moisture gives you more of like a little happy feeling. Uh, you need 
chapstick here and lots of lotion. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to going home tomorrow, at least for that part of my life. Yeah. And the other thing that I haven't been used to is the amount of people that have been everywhere. And I guess, you know, you guys that live on the mainland, this is no big deal to you. But for us who come from Hawaii and it's quite, you know, one lane road, I have, I, we have a rental car that has little beepers that let you know there's a car on the side, which is, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's amazing because <laughs> you don't need that kind of uh, technology uh, in our two little lane highway in Kona. No. Um, but also um, uh, the pandemic, it seems that, uh, you know, it has followed us here, though. That's something that's there's There's a lot going on here. We thought when we came to, to California that, you know, that it was only Hawaii that had such strict rules and everything. But we've seen a lot of, there's been a lot of mask wearing, a lot of, you know, yeah. closing down things, a lot like that, which I, I was a little surprised on that it was going to be. Yeah, so we saw that a lot in... Uh, San Jose and uh, Las Vegas, and here actually, we walked hey. into uh, the Rayleigh's <laughs> grocery store and nobody was wearing a mask. Yeah. So there's definitely a, uh, a Wild West feeling out here in uh, Lake Tahoe on that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be nice to, uh, you know, go home, but also remember how beautiful it was here this weekend too. So. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys like a little slice of, uh, of difference of, of what it is, and don't don't be too mad that we're talking about not Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though, like Eric was saying, though, that uh, it's fun to share our most beautiful spaces that we'd like to visit with you. Um, the uh, Valley of Fire was really cool. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, and uh, we didn't get a chance to show you very much in San Jose, but uh, here... Um, just the, the beautiful, you know, the trees and the snow and the fall. It's just, it's been a good trip. It has. Yeah. And so if you guys like our content and want to see us go further, like France next spring, uh, go ahead and uh, look at the Patreon account and you can uh, support us. And um, also we have uh, information below on some of the places that we've been, like some of the trails around uh, Lake Tahoe, if you guys find yourselves here. And also access to our website, uh, movetokona365.com, uh, for information about moving or real estate. And uh, we also put together with some really great professionals around the islands. And with that, we'll say Aloha. Aloha.